Hello. Good day. Uh, today we have to briefly look at this particular sound. Okay, this particular sound is uh, a bit difficult for some people, so we have to take a look at it and know how it is pronounced. But always remember that Nigerians we use what is called British curriculum, so because of that, we don't use American Rhotic English. So my lesson is going to be centered on British English, but we're going to use it exactly the way it is pronounced. This particular sound is used only in British. Americans have their own way of pronouncing this particular sound. Okay, so briefly, we have to look at this. I said that this particular sound is known as a closing diphthong. It's known as a closing diphthong in the sense that the, this particular sound, the shore, which is known as a uh, glance to this particular one, which is closed. Uh. So it gives us the diphthong oh, uh, oh. Uh, Oh, watch my mouth again. Oh, oh, oh. You discover that my jaw moves up, up a bit. So we say, oh, oh. Okay, so apart from that, always remember that the diphthong is derived from two monophthongs. Diph means two, two sounds pronounced as one. So because of that, we, I also say that what? How worse? are spelled is also quite different from how they are pronounced. You must be aware of that. Because of that, certain letters undergo various pronunciation process, which you can see the letters as we, we've written all of them. So we are going to look at the first letter. This is the letter. I don't know how you're going to pronounce it, but we only know how a letter is pronounced when it is attached to another letter, okay? There is more you need to know about the English phonetics and phonology. And mind you that you must be able to pronounce words correctly. It's very, very important. As a student, as a lecturer, whoever you are, so far you are communicating with people, they expect you to articulate words the way they're supposed to be articulated. Now we're going to look at this letter, okay? See how it is attached to all these words. The first one is no, no, no. Did you see him yesterday? No. Next one, so, so. Another one, zero, zero. This one, so. Always understand that all the places I underlined are the places where the sound actually changed. You can see where I underlined all of them, all these letters, the O's here, actually changed to the sound O. So we say, so, to, like toe gate, to. And then both. Watch me. Both. Both. Both of you. Both of you come here. Both of you. Okay, both. Don't say both of you. No. Both of you. Both. Okay, another one is told. Told. Not told. No. Told. I told you. Told. Okay, then we go to the letter, these two letters. It means that when we find these two letters in all these words, it, they undergo this pronunciation, okay? This particular one here. So we say, well, well, like just like the Bible say, well unto you, well. Goes, goes. He goes to school always, goes. Ho, fo, to, and do. Okay, we're done. So this O and E, it doesn't mean that they are together. It simply means that the words with O and E at the end, that the E is usually silent, but the one that is always prominent is the O. So that's what we have to focus on. Okay, we have this one, woke. Woke. Okay, this one is pose. Pose. Remember, it's not pose. You say pose. Pose. Okay, then this one is choke. Choke. Don't choke me up. Choke. Then this one is bone. 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 Okay. Then we go to this particular one, O and A. So we talk about O and A. It simply means that these two letters, when they are found in all these words, they are also pronounced as O. O. So let's look at this one. Please take note that this O and OA in this word sound the same. In essence, we have O here and O here. So we have cocoa, cocoa, okay, cocoa, okay. 
I pronounce it again, cocoa. All right, we don't say cocoa, no, that's uh, too, uh, uh, what would I call it, too absorbed. All right, you pronounce it the right way, so you say cocoa. Then this one is loan, loan, okay? Then this one is boast, boast, okay, boast. Then this one is so, okay, so. Then this one is toast, toast, okay? Then we move over to oye, okay? It simply means that these two letters, when they are found in all these words, you should pronounce them as O. Oh. Example, boulder, 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 right? This, though, though, though. Watch my mouth. Though, though. You can also say although, although, okay? Not although, no, although, okay? Next one, so, so, so. Okay, my body and my soul. My body and my soul. Remember, we don't say body. We don't say body, we say body. Body, because we use O. Oh. British English uses what? O. Oh. American English is ah, that's why they say body. Doctor, we don't use that. Rather, we say doctor, we say body. We say I want you. We don't say I want you. No, we say I want you. Okay? Then we have this one note. Note. Note, note, note. Then this one is shoulder, shoulder. Show me your shoulder, show me your shoulder. See, show me your shoulder. Then we go to this particular one, E A U. When you see these three letters in all these words, you pronounce them as O. Okay? We have this one, beer. Pay attention to this. Bureau, bureau, bureau. We don't say bureau or whatever. Say bureau, bureau, then row. So you say bureau, bureau. Okay. Plateau, tableau, then bow, bow. Okay. Uh, let me just do one or two things again. Apart from that, we also have another one, like the one with O W. Okay. The O W. Have words like slow, which is transcribed as slow, slow. Okay, we also have another one which is this. We have this word. Okay, when you see this word, what do you see? Many of us, I don't know how you pronounce this word, but I want you to know it today. We pronounce it as sh. Oh. And then, f. So we say chauffeur. My father is a chauffeur. My father is a chauffeur. My father is a chauffeur. Chauffeur is a professional driver. So we don't say as chauffeur. It's not ch. It's sh. So we say chauffeur. Okay. Which actually undergoes this particular sound. The a you hear goes as chauffeur. Then the o w you hear goes as what? O. Slow down. And what? Chauffeur. There are so many other English words which undergo this particular sound. I believe that you've been able to learn one or two things. What is more important is not what you say, but how did you communicate to others to understand you. I will see you again in our next class. Bye.